Hey, good morning, YouTube crew. This is Eric Webb, uh, wearing orange hat. It's got two white stripes on it. Today, one stands for can't see me. The other one stands for got another tutorial for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an infinite canvas in Inkscape the way I use all the time. Let's get started. You can see I have two icons over here. I have uh, what I call 11 by 17 base. That's my own template that I always use to start from. It's set up exactly how I want all that. But before we open that, uh, we're gonna open this default, which is like when you install Inkscape, this is how it opens by default and how everything should look when you first open it. So let's go ahead and open that default. This is, I just installed Inkscape and this is what it looks like. Uh, keep in mind I have a plugin installed for a dark theme. Uh, you can Google Inkscape dark theme and learn about that. Um, I also have some custom icons, so these might look a little different. Uh, I do apologize for that if you're using default skins and stuff. All right, I also have my ta uh, palettes for layers and my palette for fill and stroke over here on a, on a separate monitor. So you're not going to see those, but you don't really need those for what we're doing today. First off, here is what it looks like when you open Inkscape. You have this. It was it was zoomed in a little bit, but you have this standard canvas. Here's your piece of paper. Drawing that to your heart's content, and uh, that's fine. You know where the borders are. You know to stay in here, and you can export this nicely. No matter what you create in there, it'll be within these bounds. And the fact that you know, it's it's kind of nice that. Unlike other programs, the the little the little canvas area, the uh, I don't even know what you call it, the backboard, whatever, is the background is like the same color as the page, and literally I found that you can use any of this as a uh, you know page. I can literally okay here's the page over here, but I can go over here and work. You know I can be like no 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 over here. I mean, you know um, there's no real limit in Inkscape of where you can draw it. I mean, I'm drawing all over this, but this is technically the recognized page area. But and then whenever you export, uh, a good example is when you export an, uh, some artwork, you can do it by the page. You can do it by the drawing. You can select just part of the drawing. Um, so this kind of let me think, you know, do we really need those page borders there? And when you're drawing, wouldn't it be really nice to, you know, not worry about the boundaries for a little bit until you're say you know you're drawing you're like uh you know it, it is kind of constraining I'm, I'm trying to draw on this and, and 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 uh well it's a little too close to this side so i'm going to uh move it and comp change the composition a little bit but uh what if you just draw what if you don't worry about that what if you just aren't even worried about it, man you just draw what you want to draw And you, you generally keep in mind if you want it to be a vertical format or a horizontal format, but you don't worry about that till later. And then you kind of put that down here and then, okay, now I got that figured out that, you know, all you're worrying about is the pose of the character and stuff. And then you can start adding stuff in. You can even bleed over if you want, you know, and then you just crop all that later. So I'm like, okay, how can I draw like this more often with, and, but you know, there's no way to turn these page borders off with like one shortcut key on your keyboard or anything. So let's do something about that. I'm gonna close this as the default template. Default, you know, when you open the file, that's what you got. I created one called, I call it, you can call it whatever you want. <clears throat> My standard size I like to work in is 11 by 17, kind of a tabloid slash comic size, comic page size. If, if you like, you know, whatever page size you like, you can do that for this too. But you see here in this template, I have these guidelines going. Looks like a vertical 11 by 17. This one looks like a horizontal 11 by 17. And, and um, what's actually going on here is I'll show you. If I turn on, if I go right here, you go to File, Document Properties, and right here there's a little option for Show Page Border, uh, and you can show the border on top. I don't know. Uh, border on top of drawing so that it never gets covered up. Uh, border Shadow, you can turn on Border Shadow, so you can see that I have it set up to a horizontal by 17. So you see that, so I, I put uh, guides that show where that border was. I also did one where it was vertical. 
and uh, and I put guides there too. So that's portrait, that's landscape. So we just turn those borders off, and then and then we have the guides to show us where things are. So we can again draw, and we can decide: do we want him on a vertical or a horizontal? And if we're drawing, we don't want these lines on here when we're drawing, right? So all you got to do is hit Shift and uh, backslash, and all of a sudden your canvas is gone. There's no hello white nothingness you, you gotta be careful you lose your bearings but like okay where am i boom turn back on look there it is here's our vertical here's our horizontal so i'll show you real quick how to do this uh real quick i'll show you how to set it up this way so we can do that with the default as if i just installed escape here we are and it's again zoomed in a little bit all right so again like i said you won't don't for this tutorial you don't really need any of these items here and you don't really need your tablet installed but you know good to have that installed i have another video for that uh how to how to get pressure sensitivity with tablet working in inkscape uh, go check that out and uh and then once you get that and this set up you're, you're off you're good to go man create to your heart's content like i do every day all right let's not get ahead of ourselves so here we have the default it's uh eight and a half by eleven that's showing the borders so we go to file document properties you can change that size if you want you could be like for, for mine I'll say 11 by 17 and there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know it's just the default eight and a half by 11 there it is and you see the border changing as we go uh, you can do portrait or landscape portrait landscape don't think it really matters I, I, I kind of have a default on landscape just because we're on a horizontal landscape monitor you know that's what we're drawing on go up click the ruler and drag and you'll pull a guide down and then you want that to line up right with the edge of the canvas not the shadow this is a shadow down here but right with the edge of the paper and do that on all sides like that all right now go to file document properties again turn this port portrait so it's vertical and then do the same thing you can even leave that open if you want and just leave the other borders on there but now we're adding a new uh, couple guides that will intersect the previous ones I think that's it yeah 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 I almost had too many guides there okay and also quick if you if you grab a guy and then you, you didn't mean to and you want to put it back you can just you can drag it back up into the ruler and it, and it goes away all right so now now we have this it looks a little crazy but then go back to file document properties show page border turn that off show shadow turn that off and then close that now we have this we have a vertical eight and a half by eleven and we have a horizontal eight and a half by eleven and all you got to do is hit shift backslash turn that off have fun drawing. Do a quick little drawing here. And immediately this might let us up butter to horizontal. So now we're going to hit shift backslash again. Say, okay, I do my drawing. And when you're drawing an Inkscape, like it, it really doesn't matter. Like you can draw this big, you can draw this small. It only matters when you go to size it uh, for for exporting. You know, vector just kind of can float around in this infinite canvas. However, it wants really. There's no, <laughs> there's really no up and down. There's no <laughs> like you know, it doesn't matter. But if you want it to exist within actual dimensions outside of Inkscape, it's probably a good idea to uh, size it. Say, well, it looks like okay a vertical, but we'll put it in horizontal. Right there. So we got that there. And we export PNG. We're gonna say we can do the page, but I always just do the drawing to make sure it gets the drawing no matter where it is on the page. Uh, but you can do the page too. And we'll say uh, we'll export as uh, I don't know. That'll save it there. Export. 
And I'll, right here, I always want to make sure this says 300 DPI, and this shows pixels of your actual dimensions. Um, you can even have it show in inches right here, so you know you got the right size. And then uh, close that. And now, um, for now, we have it all set up. Let's remove that guy so it's clean. All that. Make sure you have on the layers palette, make sure you at least have one layer sitting there ready to go. Uh, if you don't, it'll draw on the root, which isn't even a layer, and that just creates problems. Just make sure you're always on a layer when you're drawing or working. Um, long story short. And then, so we have this set up. So we can, you know, backslash, uh, shift backslash anytime, to draw, and then see where we're at. And uh, take this, and we might want to save it as, uh, you know, template one, or whatever you want to call it. And so now it's all set up. Now I think whenever you export and you save the template, it'll probably, so now I'm opening straight from that template file. And it's nice to have, once you have that set up the way you like, like I even have it um, with show hide or, or, or uh, but whenever you export something now, it'll, it'll still use the name that you used the last time you exported it. And it associates that name with the file now. So every time you export something, it'll be called export art. Or what I do is when I go to export a new drawing from this template, I just change the name right there and then before I export it. And that's it, man. So enjoy that infinite canvas life. Uh, when you draw on this day in, day out, it is hard to go back to drawing on a constrained canvas. Uh, it is so freeing, and I hope you have fun with it. Thank you so much, and uh, I will see you guys on the next tutorial.